Hello MCC fans, Miguel Rios here. Um, just taking you through a normal day for me. Um, my days start off here at Bob Brown GMC in Ankeny. Um, I'm an auto technician and this is what I do for a living. Um, currently I'm working on a silver Buick and I'm repairing the brakes. So I'm gonna check to see if my last rotor is fixed. Well, so it appears that my last rotor is uh, turning out fine. So I'll continue on and finish up with the brake job and I'll catch you guys later when I'm on my way to training. Hey guys, I'm at the Altoona campus now. Um, just got done running on the treadmill. Did about six or seven miles. I feel great, got a real good sweat going. Um, this is where I like to go the last few days before a fight to make my uh, weight cut a lot easier. I just do a lot of running, do some sprints, do some long distance stuff, just get a good sweat going. Um, and this is the best place to do it and it's just a couple minutes from my house. Um, since it is so close to, uh, to my fight, I don't do much with the MMA workouts, you know, within four or five days from the fight. I just kind of do a little bit of technique here and there to refresh, but I'm, that part of it is done. Um, preparing for the, this fight um, technique-wise and uh, learning new technique, techniques, that's done. All, that, all that's left now is cutting the final pounds and getting mentally prepared for a long, uh, tough fight against Doug Jenkins. Um, due to his last, after his last fight, I, I, you know, I gained a lot of respect for the fighter he is. He has a never quit attitude um, and fought out of some dangerous positions uh, against a really tough opponent in Ronnie Britt. I feel for me to be successful, I need to cut him off um, when, when we are in the stand-up game, not let him dictate the pace and not let him control the control where where the fight goes I need to make sure that um, when he moves I need to cut him off and beat him to that position and also once I get to that position I need to make sure I land and hit him first and be and dictate um, how this fight goes um, I feel it um, when it comes to who has advantages in different areas I feel like um, I have the advantage in all areas I'm confident in what I'm doing I'm confident in the work I put in um, I'm very confident that I'll find a mistake and I'll capitalize it on it and if if I'm first not successful at, at uh, breaking them down or catching them in something I'll keep working until until they pull me off and tell me I'm done um, I've been working since my last fight in June um, on you know preparing for another fight and getting better as a fighter I feel this time around uh, my stand-up just keeps getting better and better, and I'd like to showcase that as long as my opponent gives me the opportunity. Um, he, sh he showed a lot of good stand-up techniques in his fight with Brownie. Um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not scared of what he showed, but I am going to, I am going to um, proceed with caution. You know, I'm going to be smart, make sure I'm, I'm defending myself at all times, but also I'm going to make sure I, I capitalize when his hands are down. Or when he throws wild punches, or when he's, um, you know, not not bringing his hands back to his face. So I, I'm going to make sure I capitalize on it, and also uh, being able to counter some of his strikes. Another, another thing I think Doug does very well is he's able to get out of some tough submissions, and I've been working, uh, working with that with relentlessly on finishing those submissions and being able to transition from submissions if you know, if they're not working into another submission or to a better position. Um, I feel with, after losing last year's, at last year's Thanksgiving throwdown, there, there's no way I'm losing this time. Um, you're gonna have to, you know, carry me out in a body bag, I would think, after, uh, for this fight. You know, this fight means a lot to me after losing last year. 
This fight means a lot to me because of my family and my friends who were there last year and had to see that, he, see me lose quickly. And um, I think that's fueled me to get a lot better, um, to take training even more serious than I do already. And I just, I, do, I don't think, um, I don't think unless I completely make a terrible mistake, he has a chance to beat me. I'm going to do everything I can, and I will do every, everything I can to beat Doug Jenkins on November 23rd. Um, leading up to this fight, anything that I've done differently has only helped my, my training. Um, I've only added to my training. I haven't, I haven't subtracted anything, um, and I think that's going to lead to my success. I, all the guys at the gym um, have pushed me hard. I've, I have made sure that I'm accountable to them. Um, and, and while doing that, I've, you know, put in enough time that I'm just confident where I'm at and I feel like I will leave victorious. Uh, I'd like to thank my teammates, my friends and family and my wife for all helping me become a better fighter and a better man. And I just can't wait to step in the cage and do my thing on Wednesday.